Jorn Vandersloot does go into detail what happened that night Natalie Holloway disappeared, but I'm warning you, it is very graphic. According to court documents that TMZ got, Jorn says he and Natalie were walking along the beach in Aruba after a night at the local bar. He says the two found a spot on the sand, laid down, and they started to kiss. He said, I started filling her up again, and she tells me no. She tells me she doesn't want me to fill her up, but I insist I kept filling her up either way. He says that Natalie got angered by his advances and she kneed him in the crotch, and then he stood up kicked her extremely hard in the face, knocking her out. He says he then grabbed a nearby cinder block and smashed her head in. He says, I smashed her head in with it completely. And then he was unsure of what to do with her body. So he carried her to the water, walking into about knee deep, and then just pushed her out into the water to be carried away. Again, as part of this plea agreement, he pled guilty to wire fraud and extortion charges. So he will serve a 20 year sentence for that concurrently with the 28 year sentence he's currently serving in Peru for the murder of Stephanie Flores.